welcome back. If you started watching this channel for the log cabin content, you might find this thing pretty confusing. If you've been watching for a long time, you most of you have found the log cabin stuff uh, very confusing. So, uh, so this is like my main, my main thing. And the log cabin is just a distraction, something I just wanted to do. And I'm not denying myself things I want to do in my spare time. And I'm sharing it with you, rather than just not posting videos. For you that haven't been following the process of this engine and the whole process from design, and the reason for the design and the whole making of is documented on my channel. Just go back uh, through my videos and you'll find it. What built up to this and uh, the bike it's going in and my trip to Bonneville and my plans for Bonneville next year was or going to be this year, but it's going to be next year. If you haven't been following, I'll give you a short rundown of this engine. So it's uh, 50cc, meant to be the most powerful 50cc ever, most powerful two-stroke in uh, relation to cylinder capacity ever. It's, uh, it's a custom-made cylinder or engine block. It's a custom-made cast by me in my garage designed and 3d printed then uh, lost PLA cast by me in my garage uh, cylinder it has a 100% of bore with exhaust port no bridge at all and a very special piston with a retained piston ring that can't expand into the ports and snag custom head designed by me it's kind of a strange beast it has a primary intake with a reed valve, primary reed intake with a small pumper carb, relatively small, actually pretty big for a 50cc, it's 24 millimeters. That's the primary and it's meant for starting and bringing it up to the um, power band. Then there's a secondary quite huge intake. This PVC valve is uh, is just a prototype or test unit, might not make it to production. This intake has no valve at all, it's, uh, it, it relies on resonance. And there's two jets here, injection. Methanol and nitromethane injection in one of them and pure nitro in the other one. And this carb is uh, it's just pure uh, race gas and oil of course. So, and it's variated. And the whole thing will be electronically controlled to keep it at the right RPM, about 20,000 RPM. And it should produce in excess of 30 horsepower at the, at the crank, maybe more. I'm not quite sure how much now that I went with the nitro here, so a lot. And the plan is to be the fastest 50cc in its class first at Bonneville, then the fastest 50cc ever. I know some people are annoyed about this log cabin stuff and I'm sorry if you feel that way but um, I'm not a robot. I'm, I'm not a two-stroke robot. Sometimes there's other things too. And if it hadn't been for this obsessive behavior of mine, this two-stroke stuff wouldn't have happened. I would have never gotten to the level in two-stroke tech and like understanding of two-strokes if it weren't for the highly obsessive nature of my of me so that's why the log cabin it just has to be this way
I'm not sure if it's the, the modified splitting axe or that this tree is just a better specimen but it's um, this is starting to to work out for me this is the best one so far it's, uh, very little tear out and uh, just the finish I'm after gotta get home being eaten alive by gnats again Two more floorboards ready. The AO splitting axe is is working good. It is a bit heavy though. It's a, a real workout. Might grind down like the part that's not part of the cutting action here to make it a bit lighter. I was going to talk about how well this uh, thermocell mosquito repeller worked, but haven't had to use it. For some strange reason. Uh, I think it's the wind or something, but not a problem today, which is great. Benefit with this uh, spread tarrying, spread hugging, sling tugging method versus normal hewing. It's almost as like smooth as the outside of a debarked tree. So I think it's really like water resistant and or water repellent, and um, it's better, better than more modern hewing, in my opinion even though it's not as flat or even. I think modern man has become obsessed with flat and even and square, maybe even to such an extent that it um, compromises function over form or appearance. Okay, see you next time.